Hello, Summoners, and welcome back to the second episode of our Settings Guide series. My name is Christoph, and today I'll be going over nine in-game settings adjustments you can make right now to instantly improve at League of Legends. A ton of you guys found our previous guide about setting adjustments really useful, so we've decided to do another one. However, if you haven't already seen the first part to this guide, then it's critical that you watch it before proceeding to this one. The link for that guide will be in the description link below, and it'll contain 10 settings that you must apply before you try anything we mention here. If you've already watched it, then great. And like always, feel free to request more guide ideas in the comments below. We're always listening to you guys, and this video is just more proof of that. But before we get started, I want you guys to click the description link below if you guys want to see massive improvements to your rank this season. We post a ton of exclusive guides on every single role from some of your favorite pro players, and you can also instantly get a challenger coach anytime on ProGuides.com as well. Just click the description link below. All right, let's start off the list with tip number nine. Turn on player movement prediction. To turn this on, you want to jump into practice mode, go into your settings, then go to the game tab and scroll down to the use movement prediction box. Once you've turned that on, we highly recommend you fidget and play around with it a little bit in practice tool. It takes a bit of time to fully get adjusted to it, but once you master how to use it, you'll never go back to normal movement ever again. All right, now let's go to tip number eight, show all combat text. Having all your combat text appear in game is crucial for becoming a better player. I cannot stress this enough. I see way too many players not having their combat text options turned on. I don't blame them either because the default settings you're given at level one only selects a few of these instead of all of them. But before we go further into this, I want you to jump into practice tool, then go to settings into the interface tab, then scroll down to combat text and select all 12 options. These include damage, gold, quest, enemy damage, level, score, heal status, mana, dodge, special, and experience. Having all of these turned on will mean that a small text will appear near your champion whenever you gain XP from a minion, gain gold from an objective, get healed from a teammate, and the list goes on. Having all this information will help optimize and maximize your chances of winning more games. Once you start becoming aware of the numbers and what they mean, you'll start approaching the game at a much more analytical level and start the basics of damage calculation, XP distribution, and so many other advanced concepts. At number seven, we have attack move on cursor. If you watched our previous episode on setting adjustments, then you may remember a segment we had on attack moving. This is a continuation of that and it will cover a setting called attack move on cursor. Now, unlike the other attack move setting, this is located in the game tab under the gameplay section. If you find yourself having issues with accurately right clicking your target, then you should really try turning this on. What attack move on cursor does is that it'll make it so that if there are multiple targets in your immediate attack range, rather than attacking the closest target to your champion, it'll hit the one closest to your cursor. This can be useful when you're playing as someone like Vayne and when you have two silver bolts on the enemy Caitlyn. Once you tumble forward, you won't have to worry about accidentally clicking the ground beside her and hitting the minion closest to you. Instead, it'll hit the target closest to your cursor, which will be Caitlyn. Next up at number six, quick cast your abilities. It goes without doubt that the vast majority of high low and professional players quick cast their abilities. Quick casting, or better known as smart casting, is when the selected ability automatically inputs towards the position of your cursor without the ability indicators appearing on the screen. This works for pretty much every ability and is invaluable when it comes to League of Legends. Using this setting will reduce the time delay between casting and activating abilities by cutting the user input by a significant amount. Whenever you're in a close 1v1 or a heavy team fight, then cutting those extra few seconds will increase your chances at winning by a lot. There's a reason why almost every pro player uses smart casting, and it's because it gives you such a big advantage on your opponents. I know a lot of players in lower elos prefer not smart casting because they become much less accurate with their skill shots. Although this is somewhat true, you can overcome this with enough practice. You just have to take time to get used to it and keep spamming it in normal games. Once you start quick casting, you will literally never go back to normal casting again. To turn this on, go to the practice tool, open your settings, then hotkeys, and then you'll see a small button near the top that says quick cast all. Turn that on and keep practicing with it. Trust me, it'll make you guys much better at the game. 
Speaking of quick cast, next up at number five is turn on your ranged indicators. Now, I know we just went over an entire segment talking about how quick casting is useful. However, if you just cannot seem to grasp how to quick cast efficiently and effectively, then try this setting out. Go into your settings, quick cast every ability, and then click a small box underneath which says replace quick cast with indicator in the quick bind UI. What this will do is it will find a middle ground between full quick cast and normal casting. Whenever you hold down an ability, it'll show the normal cast range indicator, but it will also fire the ability as if it were quick casted. At times, opting to do this setting can be a little bit slower than the traditional quick cast, but it'll definitely be a better option for those who just don't really like smart casting in general. Make sure to try both of these out and then choose at least one or two of these in your ranked games. You guys will be thanking me later for this, but you can do that now by clicking the like button on this video. Next up at number four is unlock your camera. If you've come from a different genre of games and I completely understand why you would want to keep your camera locked. However, if you want to learn to get good at MOBAs like League of Legends, then having your camera unlocked or at least semi unlocked is very important. An unlocked camera can increase your chances at winning once you become accustomed to it. You can look ahead of your champion, browse around the map and then aim global skill shots much more accurately. For example, if you want to ward hop as Lee Sin, then having your camera unlocked would make it much easier since you won't have to move your cursor in order to place the ward and then hop towards it. Almost every professional player has an unlocked camera, but sometimes you can get away with keeping it locked if you have insanely good map awareness. In order to unlock your camera, just press Y on your keyboard once you get into game. If that doesn't work, then head into settings, hotkeys, camera options, and then scroll down to the lock camera option. And next up at number three, we have turn off summoner names. I'm sure most of you watching this video have experienced something like ranked anxiety before. If you're unaware of what this is, it's basically when you start feeling nervous during ranked games and can't play comfortably like you do in normals. Although there isn't a magic cure to instantly get rid of anxiety, something that has been proven to help us is turning off summoner names. Hit that full mute all in chat and turn off summoner names. Pretend that everyone is just a champion and forget that there is an actual person on the other side of the monitor. To turn this off, go into practice tool, then open up your settings, then the interface tab, and then scroll down to health and resource, and then click show summoner names. Unlike the other settings we mentioned, this one is completely optional, but I'd recommend trying it out before you make a final decision. Coming in at number two, turn on your chat timestamps. This one is pretty self-explanatory, but you'd be surprised at how many players don't even know that this setting exists. Much like the combat text options, this setting doesn't turn on by default at level one, but is absolutely necessary for your improvement. Now, why is this important? Well, whenever you ping an enemy's summoner spell or ultimate, then a small text appears in the chat, which shows exactly what you pinged. Having timestamps on will allow you to see exactly when you pinged this ability and also allow you to calculate when it'll be back up. The alternative to using this would be to keep a mental note of exactly when you pinged, which can seriously distract you in game unless you're a god at multitasking. Once you start using this, you'll notice that you'll be a lot more aware of opportunities when the enemy makes a mistake and starts solo killing more often. This is the first step at looking for openings in lane and also understanding the weaknesses of a champion, so make sure you turn it on. To enable this setting, go into practice tool, then interface, then scroll down to chat and click on the show timestamps option. Finally, at number one, our best in-game setting is play League of Legends on borderless mode. If you're like me and you like to tab in and out of game pretty often, then you might want to consider playing on borderless mode. By turning this on, you reduce the delay and waiting time of tabbing in and out. This is useful when you want to change a song, receive a message, or even just entering a Discord call. Try it out and let us know how that goes down below. That's it for our nine setting changes that you can do for instant improvement in League of Legends. Let us know which one of these settings changes worked for you guys in the comments below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, then please leave a like and consider subscribing to our channel. Also, make sure to check out ProGuides.com using the description link below if you want to see huge improvements to your rank this season. Thank you guys so much for watching, good luck in your next few games, and we'll see you on the Rift.